Today, Rinpoche started the section on special insight in the stages of meditation, showing how in all traditions except highest yoga tantra, there is a cause and effect relationship between calm abiding and special insight, calm abiding being special insight's cause. But in highest yoga tantra, there is an idea of simultaneous arisal. Uh, we're 186. Some so at the beginning of the stages of meditation by Kamala Shila, uh, we find a quote that really encompasses all the necessities uh, if one wishes to become a Buddha, the necessities um, needed, well, this, I know, <laughs> this is the same word, those things needed in order to become a Buddha. Uh, so we find um, the quote, if you ask, what are the causes and conditions of the final fruit of omniscience? I, who am like a blind man, may not be in a position to explain by myself, but I shall employ the Buddha's own words just as he spoke them to his disciples after his enlightenment. He said, Vachapani, Lord of Secrets, the transcendental wisdom of omniscience has its root in compassion and arises from a cause, the altruistic thought, the awakening mind of bodhicitta, and the perfection of skillful means. Therefore, if you are interested in achieving omniscience, you need to practice these three, compassion, the awakening mind of bodhicitta, and skillful means. So we see that at the root of uh, omniscience, we find great compassion. And uh, it's necessary as a springboard uh, um, in order to practice uh, these three things that are mentioned here. So it says, the first, the awakening mind of bodhicitta, or the arisal of the mind that aspires to enlightenment, bodhicitta. The second uh, is uh, the, um, I'm sorry, I apologize, I, I did this and I, I misspoke. So the first is great compassion. Uh, so uh, the second is the mind that aspires to enlightenment. And then the third is the six perfections. So in dependence upon generating uh, the mind that aspires to enlightenment and dependence upon pa compassion, uh, one is then able to practice the six perfections which then lead to complete Buddhahood. And these are the only, this is the only way that one is able to achieve complete Buddhahood. And we find this in the beginning of Kamala Shila's stages of meditation pointed out. Digsung. <laughs> The um, so, when we look at objects of observation, uh, when we look at um, practicing the six perfections, within the six perfections we find uh, uh, the fifth being concentration. Uh, and uh, in terms of concentration, one can achieve a single-pointed concentration independence upon any object of observation. We find in non-Buddhist schools, yogis who are able to achieve these concentration states without utilizing b the Buddhist um, icon iconography or, or, picture or Buddhism, Buddhist uh, deities and so forth. But uh, there is a reason why um, it is said to be of benefit or good 
to use the image of a Buddha, for instance, as one's object of observation. And there are two points that are made to show why uh, this is good practice. Uh, so the first is that by utilizing uh, Buddha, uh, the image of Buddha, um, as one's object of observation, um, by bringing um, this image again and again, one is creating large amounts of merit. Um, so uh, there is not only this uh, concentration being created, but there's all merit being accumulated by utilizing this object of observation. And then the second is that it leads to um, calm abiding. Um, so uh, that would be something, as a translator's note, that wouldn't be exclusive, but it's just a second benefit of it. So by using Buddha, one, you collect merit, and also you will be able to achieve calm abiding. Um, so as a translator's note, if you set a stick, you wouldn't be able to achieve merit, but you would be able to achieve calm abiding. So the, the two are fulfilled by using uh, the Buddha image. Digsung. Oh, yeah. Jiren Gombo, Kundun Zeba De, Meba Tela Kangi, San Yuba, Sanju Samba, De Naja Jesha, Shes Nomba Tabo Horse, that's Hanji Gulu, Shajaman and Buddha, Gulu, the Seta Bimba Sebo, Lassa, or Telamin and Gongo Sundin, Sanju Samba Tela, Sanju Samba De. Nya Shinga, Sanjay Kuna, Okay, so we find the quote then uh, on page 113 from the King of Meditative uh, Stabilization Sutra uh, that says, With his body, golden color, the Lord of the universe is extremely beautiful. The Bodhisattva who places his or her mind on this object is referred to as one in meditative or absorption. Uh, so here, uh, this is just um, uh, giving the instructions that uh, the using the Buddha as one's object of observation uh, is of great benefit. And so this is just reinforcing that idea. Um, and it, it's saying that when you do so, you imagine the Buddha's body as very golden color, uh, um, like real gold, um, in a, in a, and that the image is extremely beautiful. And as a note, this creates more merit by doing, doing so, imagining this gold and imagining this beauty. Um, so. Um, then the bodhisattva who places his or her mind on this object is referred to as one in a meditative absorption. So there's the other purpose is that um, you gain this calm abiding. So this merit is achieved and calm abiding is achieved. Um, so um, that's Gormche. Where did I put it? Garik, the Nay Chik Jason. We're teaching in the program. I know. Digson, Chishin and Nay Chingare. I forgot one thing, I apologize. I don't know what it is, though, but I'll, I usually remember it, so if I do, I'll uh, make sure I include it in my next uh, translation. Um, so we imagine as 
Beautiful. Yeah, I, I don't know what I missed. The dig song. Ne chik jay song. Ye ne gar jay ne hakoma. I like it. Mo ba da ni ji ne ne sen sen ngon sen du tu ba tong wa ti ce ne chu du ga yu ngon bo san ji ji ku zu la su ba ngon na yu du shi yi la sha wo si ne de la ke de mo ba da ni ji wa o ti shi ne gu wa la ne mo ba ge ne ge de ni gu ne ge de si ni gu ne ge de si mo ba si na ngon so chu du shi ga ya gong gao me pa che gu ne che ke chempo ngon ma ngay cheng gi yu so the way that we recognize uh, i just remembered uh, the way that we recognize um, whether or not our um, um, meditation is a, is a meditative absorption. If we are really absorbed in this meditation, which is leading to single-pointed concentration or calm abiding, is that we, we kind of watch our mind and see if it's wavering from the object of observation, in this case the Buddha, the Buddha in a golden color. We, we see whether our mind is wavering or not. Um, so if it is moving off of the object of observation, then we need to bring it back to that object of observation. So this is what we're trying to um, achieve, is this unwavering focus on one object of observation, in this case the Buddha. Um, so the way that we check and see is if we're thinking of other things than that object, it means that we have moved and that our practice isn't stable and needs to be reined in um, and that's how we, we get better at it, if you will. Um, okay, gong gel me pa chi, Rimeche. Yeah, okay. The shuk chi, Jason. Okay. Then eh? The... Ta shi ne la nue ji do wate mo ba sa ni ki nyo gwe mba re. Mo ba sa na nga su chui mo cha wa shi shi ki maro ta. Me shi ba chi do wa. Chui mo ma nga su shi ki maro. Me shi ba tila mo ba la ji, mo ba. Mopa, Maripa, Drapodu, Mopa? Mopa is not a Meshiba, it's a Meshiba. And then I have to choose a Mopa Shigari, Mocho Shigamaro. Meshiba is a Mopa. The Rimichi Kabi, the big Mopa. Okay, Tuche. De la Mopa. Okay. Mopa, Mopa. That's going in. Did our gangla dupi mipa the chu kanga losa? Ah. The did our gangla dupi mipa la mipa the de la sem shane the kanga losa? Okay, gongel mepa chick, two check. Okay. I just. That's how you call a sensitive Nyabajan of Gong, you do. And they said, surely in the art, you got. ちょ、モバギチレ、ニギチレス。レス。モバドメシバトマルバメシバ。なんかそのメシメシビさんのじんとは。それモバラゴです。ニ、ニがずにくるだに。ニリショウスな。ワンシナドドアシビシレジンセ
Okay, so now uh, and then we move on to page 116. In this way, place the mind on the object of your choice, and having done so, repeatedly and continuously place the mind. Having placed the mind in this way, examine it and check whether it is prop properly focused on the object. Also check for dullness and to see whether the mind is being distracted uh, to external objects. Um, so if the mind is found to be dull due to sleepiness and mental torpor, or if you fear that dullness is approaching, then the mind should attend to a supremely delightful object, such as the image, an image of a Buddha or a notion of light. In this process, having dispelled dullness, the mind should try to see the object clearly. Um, so uh, here are the um, pointing out the obstacles uh, to um, single-pointed concentration. And I think that this is literally translates as, I just want to see something real fast here. That's good. So we have the obstacles um, which one would, can run into are dullness and distraction uh, and so forth. Uh, so I just want to look up what this one word is. Sleepiness. So I was, yeah, I was right. So there's dullness and sleepiness. These are the uh, kind of two things that we, we need to look out for. I'm not sure why... I don't see it um, in here. Dark place and that is if you want a meditation. Okay, so there's dullness and, and sleepiness that can occur. Um, so uh, when dullness occurs, uh, there's um, uh, advice given. Um, so the antidote when you have your mind starting to fall into this uh, dull place, uh, um, it, it usually occurs from being uh, from laziness or uh, lack of alertness or sharpness. So it, it says that you change, move your mind uh, to an object of clarity. Um, it says in the text that we just read, uh, the mind should attend to a supremely delightful object, such as an image of Buddha. So if you start to feel this dullness, uh, there are various suggestions, such as imagining the moon's rays, or imagining the sun's rays, or imagining the Buddha's uh, brilliance. Um, all of these things are uh, the Dawa Shawa, Nima Shawa, Dangare, Kashi. What the Santana? Mobile Nunu, Nil Nunu. Mupa Dang Ni Drapudu? Mobile Kakare. Mupa Mubas and us too much a shilmarda. Mishibi Mishiba, okay. The mobile or mobile. Yes, another thing as near Cadilla, one she not to do as you she lives, Sajun. Yes, Sajun is a Sajun. Okay, well, I, I can't really retranslate, but in here it, it says that there are two. There are um, this Mupa, which is. Uh, a lack of knowing. Um, so there are two two downfalls. Mupa meaning like a lack of knowing. Rimche said it's literally ma sheba. Ma meaning not sheba is knowing something. Uh, so not knowing and this sleepiness or dullness. Then ma sheba nyepo got it? The mupi nyepo? Mupi nyepo? Mupi nyepo nyama shawa dawa shawa dawa shawa dawa the Nepo Chipa? Okay, so um, I was just trying to clarify. Um, apparently, so this state of not knowing, um, let me see how they might have translated it. Having placed the exam properly focused on the object. So uh, maybe that it's in there somewhere. Uh, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time questioning some in translation. I'm just trying to get through it so we can properly, because there's two words here. One is a state of not knowing and one is a, a sleepiness. 
Um, but this knowing, not knowing, could be uh, translated as distraction. But I'm pretty sure it's distracted. It's um, usually translated as benighted ignorance. Um, I'll look it up when Rinpoche starts again. Um, but it's Rinpoche said that the antidote for both of these distractions uh, and the sleepiness or dullness or sluggishness um, is what was just explained. Um, so. Um, the, the sun's rays and the Buddha's brilliance and the moon's rays. Uh, so we imagine all of these things so that we can clear, uh, clear away these, this dullness and then get back to a place of, of clarity. Um, so um, we're going to just stop there because um, that's really most of the uh, information. And um, I'll get back to that second part. Dig some room, Che. Maybe She was that Sanji Kula mean thing as a Gumbaina and the Sanji Kula me Salum Sanji Kula mean me the Yoba Yimbala and the Sailor Nameba. Tonsi remembers me, what does she want of them? She wants her more. Sadly, Shuchabo, Sebo, Lu Dang Sam Shiva, she wants you, Mother's. Pliancy. And then what is peace, pliancy, so one has to think of this in a very strong way over and over again without Without doing so, then these uh, results won't occur. So when we say that this mental and physical pliancy occurs uh, as a result of these uh, um, observations or this uh, single-pointed observations, it's something that is re having done so repeatedly and continuously. Um, so uh, this object of observation is just repeatedly observed. Um, so that's uh, something that's important. Uh, to point out the Rimache Puik Chu Leps Kaba Lepson Kaba Kasa. Okay, decent. Um, so, okay, then, you know, Jorba Detar Chao Pangi. Say, Milo. Okay, so let me, let me read on now. So, if the mind is found to be dull due to sleepiness and mental torpor, or you fear that dullness is approaching, then the mind should attend to supremely delightful objects such as an image of the Buddha or a notion of light. In this process, having dispelled dullness, the mind should try to see the object very clearly. You should recognize the presence of dullness when the mind cannot see the object very clearly, when you feel as if you are blind or in a dark place, or that, or that you have closed your eyes. If while you are in meditation, your mind chases after qualities of external objects such as form, or turns its attention to other phenomena, or is distracted by desire for an object you have previously experienced, 
or if you suspect distraction is approaching, reflect that all composite phenomena are impermanent. Think about suffering and so forth, and topics will, these topics, uh, and so forth, topics that will temper the mind. Let me just make sure where we, Rinpoche's gotten to. Okay, dig some Rinpoche. Shawadanga Melo Okay. What Cassoe, Shell Less so. Okay, so when we look at the um, uh, two distractions or two obstacles to um, gaining a calm abiding, we see that there are on one side of the spectrum the obstacle of dullness, sluggishness, sleepiness. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the uh, um, excitement or busyness of mind. Um, so both of these are obstacles to our achievement of single-pointed concentration. So if we have this busyness or excitement, we're not properly focused, it's all starting to make sense now that it's come together. And, and if we have um, this dullness, then we don't have a clarity of object. Um, so we're not able to say that we're properly focused. And so our mind can be distracted from in various types of ways. So it's pointed out here, um, uh, you, you should recognize the presence of dullness when the mind cannot see the object very clearly. Uh, and when you feel as if you are blind or in a dark place or that you have closed your eyes. 
If while you're in meditation your mind chases after qualities of external objects such as form or turns its attention to other phenomena or is distracted by desire for an object you have previously experienced or if you suspect distraction is approaching, reflect that all composite phenomena are impermanent. So then that is looking at the other problem, the excitement. So it's saying that it begins here with explaining what about dullness and how dullness is like uh, being blind in a and almost in a dark place of, of unknowing. Um, uh, so that's where that unknowing comes from, this being like in a dark pl place, blind, uh, not know of an unknowing. Or you are in a place that is distracted um, and by uh, maybe old tenets that you were taught, um, non-Buddhist tenets uh, that um, can distract you. It, in, uh, desire for an object you have previously experienced or for objects that you were previously liked and quite attached to and you have a memory of. Um, so this can cause an, a, what is called excitement or di this distraction to occur. Um, so um, it's saying that these things are obstacles to um, our achievement of single-pointed concentration therefore we need to apply proper antidotes so it's saying that we if you suspect distractions reflect that all composite phenomena are phenomena are impermanent um, so we look at the four spheres um, think about suffering and so forth and uh, the topics that will temper your mind so we can think about for instance the Four Noble Truths and then the Four Noble Truths have the 16 attributes of the Four Noble Truths and when we look at the true sufferings for instance the, the true suffering we see that one of the first characteristic is impermanence um, so it says that reflect that all composite phenomena are impermanent and think about suffering and so forth so it's speaking about the um, thinking about the Four Noble Truths the 16 attributes of the Four Noble Truths and the four spheres of that um, uh, the Yanjir Surinan, the Chu Tamche Dunya Wa, Sache Tamche Dunya Wa, Chu Tamche Yudanjima <laughs> <laughs> You know the 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 je the nyanle de pa shwa the chu tam che du nyo du nyo de bi na ba je je shwa ba yina sa che tam che du nyo wa chu tam che mi ta pa ma su ma su da ma su pong bu da ma su na ma ta ba yin de de ga ji ye shi de okay du nyo wa yin de le ni ji wa ji yin be shi de de ne ma ta du nyo tong wa yin de san yu da tu ji tu ye shi da me ba yin de so we can say that, for instance, if we use the contaminated aggregates as a subject, the contaminated aggregates are impermanent because of being produced occasionally. They are suffering because of being under the influence of the contaminated actions and afflictions. They are selfless because of not existing as an independent self, and they are empty because of empty of a pure self that is different or other. Um, so uh, there is the statement that um, uh, then the Sanjay Gari Kailan, Duje Tamche, Duje Tamche Matapa, Sanjay Tamche Dungawa. Okay, Mitapa. Should I don't you damn it, but Yangan never should go. So the Buddha stated that all compounded phenomena are impermanent. All contaminated phenomena are suffering. Um, all phenomena are selfless uh, and empty and nirvana is peace. Uh, so the Buddha stated these things um, and then we look at this first, all, um, all compound is impermanent. Why? because of being produced occasionally. Uh, so we look at all of these things uh, and the point, these points and it reins our mind back into 
uh, where it is supposed to be. So it's almost like grabbing our attention back, getting our attention back to where it should be by the use of these um, points. Okay, Ngeet Sampa Kanga Lasan, Sopo Chasan. Bali is not all over the matter doing it to look no law. No longer do the law. You get on your mataba and the Sajik Mataba song or this, or the legend drug or this. That then the Anjana? The Pali? Pali, Pali, talented over the Sumerua. Less so? What the soon you get on your mataba is the killing war or that. Mataba carries in the Sajik song or this. So we find in the Pali tradition, many in, in Thailand, where, excuse me, these statements would be made, such as um, all compound phenomena. Um, are impermanent and all contaminated phenomena are suffering. Um, we would find these statements made in the Pali tradition and then the reason would be because Buddha stated it, because Buddha stated it, because Buddha stated it. Uh, but in the Nalanda tradition, uh, we would utilize these reasons and signs for it. Uh, so we would say the Buddha said it um, because of being produced occasionally. So it would, um, would add that um, correct sign uh, as well as just that the Buddha said it. Um, so the um, reasoning behind why um, statements were made is one of the kind of qualities of the Nalanda tradition, uh, the um, kind of expanding, uh, the expanding of the understanding. Uh, so we see the, um, the 16 attributes of the Four Noble Truths kind of passed down in, in two different ways. First is just in a um, tran in way by transmission, which would be the, the Thailand tradition. Um, um, uh, just as a translator's note, uh, at the end of a teaching, sometimes the teacher will read the whole text uh, to the students. That's called a transmission. That was done to him or her by his or her teacher. And that has happened, if it's right, all the way to the author or the Buddha. Um, so it should, if Lama Tsongkhapa, Lama Tsongkhapa, it should get to one of his students and then to Lama Tsongkhapa, or Buddha, one of his students, then Buddha. Um, so uh, that's uh, um, how carefully kept uh, this, this is. The Pali, the, the Thailand, the Lung. Then Nalanda, Dayanda? Nalanda, Thailanda, the two in Sarawa. Lesser. What is so? Turn on Dejima that you do congregate it tomorrow. Dejima that you do to look a little longer do things alone. So we find this. In, we find this very in uh, when we say what are some things that are in common uh, to the tradition that we study in this Pali tradition, the Thailand tradition. We would say that the 16 attributes of the Four Noble Truths. This transmission of them is something that we have in common. I mean, many, uh, one of the th many things we have in common. Um, so in the Nalanda tradition, there's the transmission as well as the use of correct signs and reasoning. Uh, so we would say um, they are impermanent because of being produced occasionally, suffering because of being under the influence of a contaminated actions and afflictions, etc. Uh, so there would be um, proof um, to the in in the, the proof part of the um, subject and statement that would be missing. It would just be subject and statement in, in the other. If we look at it in terms of a syllogism, uh, subject, statement, reason, or subject, thesis, reason. Deek-san. 
Ana kada sandan gorusuna. Tamba da sheji ji tabe e ji lambu che. Mi bi dombu deni la da ba sha us. Na su e ji sheba da lanchen el pe ko baro lanchen po. E ji e ji lambu che. Ana mi mi bi mi bi dombu deni la da ba sha us. E ji lambu che de ana na su sen de lambu che el pe ja baro. Na su lambu che de wa de mi ba ne sanje ko la ba ta ko res ta sanje ko ta na na gon khe su de ba ro ta shin chembo go na shin chi de chembo go na la mo che chembo sen la mo che do de mi bi mi ba la ta ko res mi ba la da ba sha wos mi ba de ji ne ba la mi ba la da ba sha wos ro la sa da ba sha wos de ne mi ba la da ba sha wo Kanki se shiwata goba me me ber tutes kanki se shiwata goba de me ber resuna me ba de la sen shin do goba ton ti se sene tua soba tanu ja us shiwata goba de sheza zuna ne me ba de la sen ji ne do goba ton ti se ne shiwata goba shine mi ba sanje ko le ne de joba toa te se se ne ne kale kale tendu hulo je wo se se ja jo ma res joa se la tanu sha wo sa an to ba se da bu go ma res hulo je ja ja je da se la tanu sha je se te se Jesi doji ba to do ba sha wos wat kazi sozu de ba ye ba do wat gon gor son de zar do ba sha wo ta ta shene la komba komba re she ba ti se ti le dan sen shin do jan ba dan sen de je de je ba ta je dar je dar do ba jin do me ba la rawan to do ba ti se ti shene shene doba ni mare ba o shene ndene jusun nan shene to ba re sa ta 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 ra shene la kumba shene she ba ti le dan sa shene do jamba to ba dans ta sanje ko la min tenga do kon tenga ze de tan bi cha won du le shene jan de sa shene to ba sa le shene jan sa na zo bu ge na lo le lon sa ba de le o sa lo lon sa ba de le o de ne sen le jibe o sa ro de ne sen shin de jang ba sen le jibe yong re se shin de jang ba jo ba dans che de de ba jin do mi ba de la sen de wan jo ba ti che shin ne ru o de san ji ko la mi ne gon ne su su de ba na jo gon to do na ane wo san ji ko la mi bi shin ne ru ba re se le la bo ya In this process, distraction should be eliminated, and with the rope of mindfulness and alertness, the elephant-like mind should be fastened to the tree of the object of meditation. When you find that the mind is free of dullness and excitement, and that it naturally abides on the object, you should relax your effort and remain neutral as long as it continues thus. You should understand that calm abiding is actualized when you enjoy physical and mental pliancy through prolonged familiarity with the meditation and the mind gains the power to engage the object as it chooses. Um, so here this is stating that once one achieves the single pointed concentration, calm abiding, at that point in time then the mental and physical pliancy uh, takes over. So one has this uh, state of bliss uh, and at that point in time one is able to go into a single pointed concentration very easily at will. Um, one would, would be able to just um, immediately get to a state of single pointed concentration um, at, at, in a very easy way and be able to focus on any object of observation one wishes to in that very easy way. Uh, in that very easy way that's completely focused without 
um, without any distraction. So that is the state that one gets to through monitoring whether there is dullness and sleepiness, whether there is excitement. Uh, um, so one is guarding whether one is one is over alert and the other is under alert. So it's trying to find the, in between the two um, where um, one is not excited, um, one is focused, but one isn't sleepy um, and there isn't a dullness to that focus. Um, so, um, yes, I believe that was everything. Let me just check 118 temper. No, that was neutral as long. Okay, so yeah, one has to apply uh, the antidotes, the anti the antidotes to dullness and the antidotes to excitement, and eventually be able to get to the point where one has neither, and then mental and physical pliancy occur and then one can focus his or her mind on whatever he or she wants to uh, very, very easily. The nidanyom de dondagare remache, the tsichi, the itzkensa, the danyom dandradu, the shin, the lambuche shin, the the Mibala tsichi. Then gupa dan shewa mena. Then uh, the Danyom, the Dandra. Saint Danyom is not saying that she should be a member, she should be a member, she should be a member. Then it says, Ju Rimbo Day, the Dundagare. Ah. Remain neutral. Uh, I gotta find it. The Gunga Mipache, Mipa. The Kabiare, the Rimbache, the Nyan, the Lampoche. The Puik Lampoche Kabiare. The Dugunduot. Tabba Shijinji that's so. Then eh? Daba shawos. Then gangi. The mipa de la semnyo. The the gangi say the shinwa dangupa mepa jode. The mipa de la semnyo du jupar. The tomba. Shinwa the goba. The don't agare. She says, I'm not going to go to the she wanted to go to Mena, then he did the self. She does not then say to what the Sanji Kula Menegua, Lila Chamuruta. And she does she with your woman, her legion, going and digging as one is that say ni the so so what so all her loss that the Tanyus show there, 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 they don't agree. So I was just asking Rinpoche just to clarify this uh, remains neutral as long as it continues thus. I was just trying to clarify. So um, Rinpoche said that it just means that um, 
once this this natural abiding is, let me read from the part because Rinpoche gave a little bit of discussion on this just now. In this process, distraction should be eliminated and with the rope of mindfulness and alertness, uh, the elephant-like mind should be fastened to the tree of the object of meditation. Um, so using alertness like, uh, and, and mindfulness like a rope uh, to bind your focus to the object of observation uh, which in this case, say, we're, we're saying the Buddha's image. Um, so one is using uh, mindfulness and being alert to make sure there's no dull, dullness uh, to, and to make sure mindfully that one is focused on the correct object. Um, so to make sure that there isn't excitement and that there isn't any dullness. Um, so it's almost like um, this alertness that's watching for excitement and the dullness is like a rope that's not allowing the mind to move to it. Um, it's binding it to the object of observation, this alertness, um, which in this case is the Buddha, um, so that the, this single-pointed concentration, which then produces mental and physical pliancy, can occur. Um, so that's the, the point. And then it says you should relax your effort and remain uh, neutral as long as it continues thus. When you find that the mind is free of dullness and excitement and that it naturally abides in the object, you should relax your effort and remain neutral as long as it continues. I, 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 don't, I don't have time to the, just relax your effort part is bothering my mind. I can't figure out. It's, it almost seems like it says, oh, it's fine now. Um, and I'm just trying to uh, relax your effort. But it might not say exactly that in the Tibetan. Um, Gangitse chiwa dangupa me pa jude me pa de la sem yal du jupa tomba. The cadets can the NGK the Zeus the Dets can saw the the me pa de la. Senyel du jupar tomba de se de nyomsa. So we'll just move on. It's fine. Um, it, it, Rinpoche is just saying that you should, uh, when I asked about the specific part, he was saying that you should remain in this state focused. Uh, um, one, once you have this fastened, you should abide there focused. You should remain focused. Um, so that was. Uh, that was it. Digson. Oh. I'd have to go word by word, and it would, the etymology would be really uh, take too long. This is Shimada Gobo. Tell someone that it's a Jesse and Dejibato, Joe Show. And then Shimada Gobo, she says, I'm not going to go to Gombayena, Susu in Doba. And then Doba, Susu in Doba, you're not going to do this. Less so. Jesse and Dejibato. Juba Shao. Theater Shene, Shene Comba Shiva D. Ludan Sanchin to Jamba, Juba Dance, Shene Comba Shiva to get in the Ludan, Lucian to Sanchin. Chetan Duba Jin to me, but the la Ramon to Juba Tizze and the Shene Druba, the Shene Druba Yimba, Riba Shao was Shene Tenny Shows and a Shian Chabajin Sibiguna. Raula, Bibel Hundred, you would think in the Shinet ten years. Pitching what the Pashin only heard of Pashi. Shinan Chabaji, the same good Raula, Bibel Hundred, you would think in the Shinet ten Okay, so, um, You should understand that calm abiding is actualized when you enjoy physical and mental pliancy through prolonged familiarity with the meditation and the mind gains the power to engage the object as it chooses. So at that point, one can focus on uh, th that object of observation single-pointedly easily. But Rinpoche said, also, any object that one wishes to focus on then one is able to focus very readily. 
Um, so the definition of uh, calm abiding is um, a stabilization arisen from meditation and conjoined with a special pliancy. Then the pension the the tseni yanju surinang ngek tseng chik shena de kakere pension tseni? Chanel tseni. Yeah, yanju. Shen jang chepa jin jin sinbi gunes. Shen jang chepa jin liu shen jang sen shen jang chepa jin jin sinbi gunes. And join with special pliancy yet leo, less so. Rao yu la be men hundu jubi ting en zin. Rao yu la be men hundu jubi ting en zin. Shen jang tseni yin yis. Okay, this is it then. Defined as it's a little it's slight difference, but it's the same meaning. So it's def defined as a single-pointed stabilization arisen from meditation and conjoined with special pliancy. So Rinpoche said, "What is that special pliancy? Special pliancy is the physical and mental pliancy that occurs when this um, is when this is present, when there is a calm abiding present." Okay, dig some Rinpoche. Tuche. <laughs> so that was calm abiding. Now we move on to the next section of special insight. Tombushinet, Okay. Okay, so uh, when we look at calm abiding um, and special insight now we're moving on to, um, there is in the all the traditions um, uh, except for the highest yoga tantra tradition state that there is this cause and effect relationship between calm abiding and special insight that you achieve calm abiding and then as a result then you can move on to focus and achieve special insight um, according to highest yoga tantra these two can simultaneously arise um, so this is a slight difference that we find and I wouldn't even say sutra and tantra because it's so specifically highest yoga tantra that says this um, so highest yoga tantra and all the other teachings buddha gave uh, are the basic two divisions um, one uh, all the other divisions agreeing in this cause and effect and then the highest tantra believing this simultaneous arisal is possible see dig some <laughs> Sanjee Tell 
Tokona lebar guna ha. Eşe naba taban joru hosa. Şero kone tokona ni duban joru hosa. Tokona ni duban joru. Şero kone şine diba yan taba buan jöte. Tata yuna da ki Şene la ne de şero ci tekona ni yusu çoğa şahis. Şene ki cüce bala de ne anne ne doni gong gore sonu ise çoğa şahi. Şene tan ci ne çoban ceba meşe o nyato samba şa o s. Ta doni ile mebe doni tuğa de şera keçe bera dedim şene tan le şene tan ci yungu mares. Şene de la doni ce gore. ピクサー。ええ、なんでだろうね。とびしろと。そんじくそんたんじとにとびしろじゅうらちびしと。そんじゃぶしゃだです。おな anne şere ni bu no ayi no ye so wat du le de re ta basa anne chu chu da nga da ka yo are nga yo ba de de nga de de ma du ba de nga yo are de nga de pom pom la tu ne tu ba de pom la tu ne tu yo re ma tu pom la ma tu ba ra wa de ma de pom la ma tu ba ra wa de ma ba yin ta ra wa de ma ba la te kona ni se gre tomba ni se gre de la tomba ni de la Joani tu tomba ni de la mine an saltan ures Te kona che na ta yu ta so yu ma ba se wa jin dos te ne na de ba ma ru ba na de pomba la tu ne ru ba re pomba la tu ba yin ta ra de me ba ra de me ba te che so na ne wa te tu ni tu ni che go ma ru tu ni tu ni che so na Tenin denzil ne ne mal denzi. Rahat diyor ba. Pombalı mı diyor ba rahat diyor ba dilin ne diyor ba. Rahat diyor ba dilin ne diyor ba. Tabi diyor ma yemiş şey sonuna. Dönze cilol ne diyor ba. O da bu marbe. Ne marbe ne After realizing calm abiding, meditate on special insight, thinking as follows. All the teachings of the Buddha are perfect teachings and they directly or indirectly reveal and lead to suchness with utmost clarity. So here, uh, uh, they're using suchness. Um, this is the teaching on emptiness. Um, so um, here, uh, this is the focus on the subject matter of the Sutra of the Heart of Transcendent Knowledge, where we find many of the statements made that um, seeing the five skandhas to be empty of nature, form is emptiness, emptiness is no other than form, form is no other than emptiness, and then to seeing the statements such as there is no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no appearance, no sound, no smell, no taste, etc. Um, all of these negations are not negating existence. Uh, when we say I, I exist, I just uh, do not truly exist. I am not truly established or inherently existent, but I do exist. The eye does exist. The ears do exist. Um, so it's the mode of subsistence, uh, the mode of existence, if you will, that uh, is in question here. Uh, um, so it's not possible um, to, with only calm abiding and without any analysis, uh, to achieve this understanding of the way that things abide. And it is the misapprehension of the way things abide which is at the root of cyclic existence, is at the root of the karma and afflictions that create cyclic existence. We find this ignorance, the ignorance that grasps at things as being truly established. 
So if you understand suchness, okay, so again, it's speaking about emptiness. If you, under, uh, you will be free of all the nets of wrong views, such as darkness is dispelled when light appears. Mere calm abiding meditation cannot purify pristine awareness, nor can it eliminate the darkness of obscurations. When I meditate properly on suchness with wisdom, pristine awareness will be purified. Only the wisdom can I only with wisdom can I realize suchness. Only with wisdom can I effectively eradicate obscurations. Therefore engage in calm abiding meditation. I sh therefore, engaging in calm abiding meditation, I shall search for suchness with wisdom, and I shall not remain content with calm abiding and alone. Uh, so calm abiding alone won't allow one to achieve aims. So Buddhahood is not possible by just one side of those the two-sided uh, coin. So with just calm abiding, it's not possible to um, achieve the final realizations, because at the root of cyclic existence there is the grasping at true establishment. There is ignorance. And without um, the opposite of ignorance, knowing, um, then the ignorance perpetuates cyclic existence again and again. Uh, so um, it is the non-mistaken view that recognizes that the I is not inherently existent that the I is not truly established because of dependent origination um, that harms wrong views. So these correct views, um, these, um, these points about the true nature of reality are what counteracts or harms the wrong views and eradicates them. Just like the, the example of mistaking a rope for a snake in a dim room, the only thing that gets rid of this idea that it's a snake is the, uh, the truth, that it's a rope. And as soon as you know that it's a rope, nothing that comes with the thinking it's a snake occurs any longer. Likewise, as soon as you recognize that things are not truly established, then everything that comes from believing that they are, goes away. So the only thing that, that can harm this misconception is correct perception. Um, so that's the point that's being made here. And that once you apply this correct perception um, and then unite it with calm abiding, then you have what is necessary to march towards complete enlightenment or move towards complete enlightenment. Um, so, the way, so the way that we abide is the mistaken part. So we believe that, I believe that I exist truly. I am independently existent. I have some sort of identity that's separate, some Jeffness to me. Um, this is a wrong view. And the correct view is that there is no Jeff that exists inherently or separate from a collection of aggregates that comes together and then is named as Jeff. There's no Jeff separate from that process that one can find. So it's merely a coming into being through naming. Naming on something, but it's through naming something that exists, basically, and applying attributes to it um, that in the case of wrong view, it doesn't really have. So um, um, grasping and then believing that these things are inherently beautiful or inherently going to stay forever and not going to die and not going to age, this kind of grasping, this feeling, all goes away when the correct view is applied. Deeksung Rinpoche. <laughs> Shinet 
Shena tanj bhen to mares. Shena dala to nika gures. Yes, lesa. Mira o nya to samba samo. Ona te kona ni cheta bhi shena na te kona ni la mine ni shena dala to kona wate deva po ba samba ina te kona ni te kana ja wurza na. Ta ka te to ni shi wur to ni. Te kona ni cheta bhi shena ta ta ba ngwa bo ta ji ka za na chi chi ji da ni je to ba ni te ane wa te kona ni de shuwa se na ka za ga da me de chi ji da me ni de ja wur es ka za ga da me ka za de ba ma ru ba chi de ba ma ru ba es ane ka za se na ga su na se ya de ru na de ba ma ru ba na ma ye bi chi ji da ga de ba ma ru ba chi chi ji da me na de ba na de ba ma ru de na de bu Humble a twin to by him, Bez, twin to by him, some of the one to remember is. And a Nama in the chicken all over, the woman to by him, the Dazil a twin to by him, Bez, chicken all a twin to by the mother to your mother. Then they they said, Tangu River, D, Natanga Tawata, the Chuber Shay. Tangu River, Tandy, be tatted you what they talk and working all noon, the rest of e se tengo un giovane, non ho trovato la tua giovane. 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 Non ho trovato What is called Lady Zara? Then it's your own Chula Dame, but the lesson? Chukabri lepson, Puik. Oh, no. When the Gunan Chetabashinas, the Gunan Yelam Chenet Ladun Guna, and Jebabon to Sundra, and the Gunan in the Shag Shuazana, and the Lego, Tagan, the Kazaka Dame, the Chi Dame, the Gunan in the water is. Non è un bambino, 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 Kabar? Jadon, Jadji, Jadji. Jadji, Dene, Kabi, Ure? Tadabu. Jadon. Tukunani, Tadabu, Shina, Tadabu, 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 Tukunani. 188. Tukunani. 188. Tukunani. Tukunani, Jadabu. Tukunani, Jadabu. Okay, so when we when we look at um, the nature of reality, if we were asked to show what is the um, actual nature of reality, if we were say someone said posit. Uh, the nature of reality. We would say the lack of true establishment of persons and lack of true establishment of phenomena. Um, so these would be the two categories of the nature of reality. So um, persons would be um, anything that is a being, a being imputed on any among the five aggregates is the definition of person. Um, so anything that is a phenomena and not person falls under the second category, um, the lack of true establishment of phenomena. So there's lack of true establishment of persons and lack of true establishment of phenomena. So if we were asked to show the emptiness or show the nature um, of reality, um, we would say it's divided into two, the nature of reality according to person, nature of reality according to phenomena. Uh, so these, this would be the way that we would... Um, differentiate these. Um, just want to make sure. 
um, so th we had think over and over again about this reason for, um, for instance, the I not being truly established. The being is not truly established because of being um, uh, merely imputed on a collection which serves as an appropriate basis of designation. So, again, the transla translating the definition of person, <coughs> or of tansak, person, is a being imputed on any among the five aggregates. So it's literally within that definition. Um, so why is it not truly established? Because it's dependent upon being imputed on, on this collection of aggregates. So what occurs then? How does this undo um, negative experience? It does so because when we look at how <coughs> the suffering cyclic existence occurs, it occurs by karma and the afflictions. Looking at truth of origin, we find the karma and the afflictions. The karma and the afflictions arise from grasping at true establishment. So from, so from grasping at true establishment, karma and afflictions are created. And then from karma um, and afflictions... Uh, we have suffering. We have experience of suffering. Uh, so this is the, how the first and the second noble truth interact with one another. We grasp at true establishment, create karma and afflictions, and then as a result have true sufferings. Uh, and uh, the way that we stop this is by stopping the grasping which starts the process from the beginning. So we, we stop the grasping by recognizing there isn't anything to grasp at that is a, a singular the way that we think that it is. Uh, there is merely a collection that serves as a basis of designation for a name. There isn't any inherently ex existent separate this or that from that process. So by undoing this grasping, everything that comes with it is undone, therefore the consequences are undone. Um, and So myself and my aggregates are very similar to pouring milk and water together. So when we say, um, uh, this self is named on top of this collection. It, it's almost like this self and aggregates are milk and water. They become of one, one substance. Dixon, so when we look at the various consciousnesses, we have six. Eye consciousness, ear consciousness, nose consciousness, tongue consciousness, tactile consciousness, uh, and mental consciousness. Um, so all of these consciousnesses are not truly established. So um, 
we when we begin to analyze a phenomena we analyze it in a total way we begin to look at our consciousness we begin and looking at our ourself and other and so forth and and establishing their lack of true establishment um, Trying to make sure. Dixon non dopo senza devo madura senza devo madura res then the image can get the jumbi moni ji zola subas zola subas zuka jumbaro zuba in kunzu demba image kunzu demba jumba la dagre zada demba demba zola suba zola subi naban jumba senyi hatuji naban nawa tiche Demba ni to kalanjurosa. Kanki se jimbi jimbi ngoni zola soba jimbi ngon zola soba jimba indu kudu demba imbejer. Jimbi jimbi naban jimba sen hatuji naban hawa ti che. Demba ni kalanjur demba to kala kala yu di yo mares. Chetare zola soba jimba jindo sen jan Tele kuna meba zudu juma ima mazi sende juma res kunzu deba imbejer tele kuna mebe juba nyito chetera zola zuba hatuji naba imbe chidna to me ngonyi maimba tejindo you can't be that far senda tele kuna mebe sher chidna the main one is my nose. Century never married the debut to be seen on the debut to Macaro to Madu Bezer. Naturally, never married the debut to be seen on my own to Madu Bezer. What the Tony do with Tama Mugua wrote the Susan is that it? See you in the Sand and Jumala Suba, the Gonagi Tabo. Uh, okay, yeah, I knew something happened. The Shugo uh, Yomare. The 190, the 188, 189. The Truadon Lenjot? Okay, we're going to do question and answer because we just went a little off course, but we're okay. Um, information all given out was correct. Um, the Sama, the, the, the 80, 88, 89, Okay, so we'll have a question and answer uh, session. I would like, um, I think that's, let me just make sure if there's any other information that I need to. Uh, translate. So basically when uh, when we're at, you'll see uh, later on, a couple pages later, it starts to get into analysis of form and lack of true establishment of mind and lack of st true establishment of all kinds of different things. Uh, so Rinpoche was uh, just reading through that, but we skipped a, a page in Tibetan, so I just want to, uh, we're going to stop here and do the question and answer, and we're just going to start from where we missed, you know what I mean, la next week. Uh, and I know where that is, um, so that will be no problem. Uh, so anybody who has any questions, feel free to ask. Um, so when um, when Rinpoche discusses wrong view or mistaken understanding of things being truly established, correct, he sometimes uses the um, story about uh, you know mistaking 
a rope for a snake. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm just wondering if the teaching would mean the same thing if that story, the two words rope and snake were kind of transposed, if mistaking a snake for a rope. And I'm wondering partly because like ropes people aren't generally afraid of. Snakes people are generally afraid of, whether they should be or not. But I'm wondering if the, the that story and the teaching would have the same meaning if um, like mistaking a snake for a rope was used. It's never well, expressed Well, like that ignorance that could get you bit. You know what I mean? Well, that's what I'm wondering. If Rinpoche would think... The Sansan, the Natsu, the Drul, Dan Tarpa, the Tombani, the Dayanda. The Ne, Natsu, the Sansan, the Sha, Lena, then Natsu, the Tarpa, Ton, then Sampa, the Drul, then Sansan, the Snake. Then Sansan... The 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 da the Uma Jupa the Yure the Tarpa Dang the the Dru. Then Kong Triwa Natsu the Tarpa Samadan Yene Dru Yuna Drapodu Kondizan The um I'm trying to he doesn't understand what the relevance is. I'm uh what the you know what I mean? Like just switching the, the examples. Does, does the teaching uh, have the same meaning? The Donda Chipa, that's not to the Sha Lena, then Tapa Tong, Yene not to Drul Tampa, not to Shegdu. Yene not to Sha Lena, not to Tarpa Tong, Yene Drul Yuna, not to Maripa Yu, not to the Tarpa Yu, Yene Drul Yure. The Drapple did Maripa Drapple do? The Mikpa Hakogamare, the Mipa True. How about the dream of Shina Maripa Rota? Then draw yimba tar. How about draw my yimba shina? Then baro. Then a the the tarpa. The nicha chipa. Tarpa draw draw tarpa. How about draw yimba? How about draw my yimba? Draw tarpa yimba kongi chiva. Draw tarpa yimba. Chiva the same. Yeah, so it's exactly the same. So uh, I, if it if you're seeing as a rope as a snake or a snake as a rope. Um, it would be a misperception of the object of observation. So I asked him, "Is it? Are both of these examples misperception of the object of observation?" He said, "Same." Okay. Thank you. Kali Kasson, you see? I'm trying to understand. Uh, Single pointed concentration okay. leading to calm abiding. Tinginzi, the Tanda Tinginzi Logjun Shedu. The Tinginzi Dang Shene Chapagar Eight Samadang. Tinginzi is a dog on there. Sorry, a question kind of went in. No, that's okay. Dang as a lie in the Sanji in the Sanji Sandan, the damage in the damage is Sandan de Azuro. Blood and Zilla, the Shenella to Shene. Okay, so... Um, beginning with what is the difference um, between single pointed concentration and calm abiding. Um, so Rinpoche said that if we were to compare these two subjects, we would come up with three permutations. Uh, if we were to say, are they three permutations, four permutations, mutually exclusive or synonymous, we would say there are three. Because if it is a um, calm abiding, it is necessarily single pointed concentration. But if it is single-pointed concentration, it is not necessarily calm abiding. Calm abiding is like the, almost like the, perf I don't want to say the word perfection because it's not, but almost like perfecting single-pointed concentration in a sense. Uh, the tingenzi, the tingenzi yuna shine mena yurbe? Tingenzi yu shine me. Show? 
So the state of completion um, of this calm abiding isn't necessarily within, implicit within the single pointed concentration. Uh, so single pointed concentration, Rinpoche said, um, can be just a, a very focused state. Um, I said, so it, it, for example, I gave an example to try to understand it more myself. I said, so if you really want this car, some car, and all you can do is think about a car, this car, I want this car, would that be an example of a single pointed concentration but not a calm abiding? And he said, yes. So there is an actual meditative absorption, a state where this pliancy and everything that takes place in the winds change when calm abiding is achieved. Single pointed concentrate, calm abiding is single pointed concentration, but there are sing, types of single pointed concentration which aren't calm abiding, that aren't induced by this meditation. So the mental process um, to attain calm abiding, you want to pick one object of observation and stick with the object, that object of observation. And then during, while you're practicing single point of concentration, you're checking for dullness or excitement. You're bringing your mind back to that object of observation continuously. Then con trua de, de con gom, shine guna, de tsik chik, de mikpa chik, yakshu, de nima dakpar, mikpa chik, saladang yakshu, shine gu, shine water, shine guna, mikpa chik, mikpa chik. Then mm. um, um, the Nima Dak Par, the the Mikpa Chik, the Tinganzi Gom. Sajid, the Sajid, the meaning Tingan Gona, the German number, the meaning Gona, the Chiyo Maris. The Kongi Triwa, the uh, the Mikpa Chik, Nima Dak Par, Tinganzi Gom, Tinganzi, Yene Shine Yomare, the Dandrapodu Kong Triwa. The Nima Dakpar, the Mikpa Chik, Tingenzingo. The Tingenzi Yin, Yene Shine Mayen, Kongi Chiwa. Tingenzi, Tingenzi Yin, Shine Mayen, but Mombu Yorut. So there, Rimeshe is saying, so uh, um, yes, the, that is the, the process, is you have one object. If you truly wish to achieve single point, uh, calm abiding, uh, single-pointed concentration, calm abiding. As the calm abiding is single-pointed concentration. If you wish to achieve that, yes, uh, one object every day should be used, the same object, uh, for your meditation on this. And you would focus uh, on this object. Then a shiwan dan gupa da the mikpa chi. Then a shiwan gupa the ka the gomja kongi chiwa. Less so. So you have this very, very um, big familiarity with this object because you're using one object of observation. So you're able to then, when you're doing this meditation, see whether there is this excitement or dullness arising because of your previous familiarity um, and knowing uh, what should be there. If it is or isn't, you'll be, you're able to tell, and more and more so by familiarity with it each day. So yes, you are, you're taking one object, just in, in summary, you're taking one object of observation, picking it. Ramesha said it could be Buddha um, Shakyamuni, it could be Droma, it, Tara, I'm sorry, I'm using Tibetan, it could be Tara, uh, it could be any one deity, um, but pick one and then you utilize that object of observation in all of your meditations that are geared towards achieving calm abiding, and then 
using it over and over again, you check to see whether dullness or excitement is coming into your meditation and you abandon them as they arise till you get to the point where your object of observation is clearer and clearer. Thank you. And Shanae, Shanae is calm abiding? Yes. Okay. Uh, I think that's, uh, that's it. We'll do the uh, concluding mandala offering and dedication prayer. I apologize for not being here on s Sunday. I had to work lots. Um, the concluding mandala. Fundamental ground is scented with incense and strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha land and offer it. May all sentient beings enjoy this pure land. Dedicate whatever virtues I have collected for the benefit of the teachings and of all sentient beings, and in particular the essential teachings of Venerable Lozandrapa to shine forever. Send forth this jeweled mandala to you, precious Guru. All this virtue to emulate the knowledge of the hero Manjushri and likewise Samantabhadra as well. With whatever dedication is praised as supreme by all the conquerors who traverse the three times, I also dedicate all my roots of virtue for the sake of auspicious deeds. In that pure land surrounded by snowy mountains, you are the source of all benefit and happiness. All powerful Avogateshvara, Tenzin Jatso, may you stay until samsara's end. I pray for the long life of the precious Kensar Wanda. Holder of scriptural and realizational doctrines, a spiritual friend who trained extensively in the five great philosophical texts, with exceptional wisdom and perseverance, Tuji Rimche Gutsi Shapi Denalong, Matsu Lamrum Chimbalung, Gonrum Papa Kangatrum, 